Who would have ever thought that wearing your grandfather's old Coyotes, Suns, or Diamondbacks jersey would become fashion? Our Alexis Davis took a trip to Wang's Vintage to see where local fans are getting their gear with a twist of sustainability. Welcome to Wang's Vintage. Sports fans from all around the valley sacrificed sleeping in on Saturday to get first dibs on Wang's $10 bins filled with vintage sports gear. I think this place specifically has uh, great deals. The $10 bins are something super affordable, especially with it being a college town and a lot of um, youth and younger people here. Uh, they notify everyone about the time, so that's why everyone formates the line because they have great pieces here. You don't want to miss it. Wayne's Vintage is owned by three brothers, Nate, Ian, and Noah Vizera. The store has transformed into a cultural hub. It's almost birthed its own economy in a way where you have people, the way the shop works is we buy stuff off people all day. So people within our community, they'll go to the thrift store, they'll find something, bring it to us, I'll give them $100 to it, whatever it is. And obviously we sell it on our side, but it's created this kind of supply chain. The Vizera's father sold vintage and the thrifting gene went on to be passed down equally to the vintage trio. The store takes pride in having one of a kind items. Right here we have a really rare Phoenix Sun shirt and this one's cool because it's actually a licensed Phoenix Suns piece. According to Thread Up, thrifting is expected to grow over 127% by 2026. A part of this increase in thrifting can be accredited to Thrift Talk. Thrift Talk consists of over 2.3 billion thrift haul and get ready with me videos on TikTok. Just showcasing it on a daily, um, getting into people's faces, educating them. Uh, I think it's great. It's, uh, it, it just adds more to the outfit of the day when you have a vintage piece in there versus just your regular typical piece of clothing. The fashion industry is responsible for over 20% of global wastewater. That means over 11 million pounds of clothing are found in a landfill every year. 60,233,666 of these end up in a landfill every year. But that means that Wayne's Vintage is just doing their part to stop the cycle. Here's the life cycle of the red t-shirt in my hands. First, the t-shirt is designed, then the textiles are created by harvesting raw material. This process uses 1.2 billion tons annually of greenhouse gas emissions. After this, the garments are constructed and millions of gallons of car and plane fuel are used to transport the items. The garment then enters the consumer phase. You are eliminating essentially the production side of manufacturing new garments when you're buying secondhand. Uh, and equally as important is that if you've outgrown something, it's no longer your style, consider donating it, keeping it out of the waste stream. Uh, don't confuse the idea of reuse and recycling. You'd be amazed the amount of garments that we see coming through the recycling stream. Changing a small part of your seasonal cleaning can lead to a large global impact with these steps. You do need to make sure that garments go to a secondhand store. We don't have the capability when we're sorting through all the good recyclables to pull out good usable garments. It's good for the planet. It's, I, there are only good things attached to vintage. I couldn't name a bad, a bad thing with recycling, upcycling, and just reusing stuff. It's, it's what it's meant to be for, so. In Phoenix, Alexis Davis, Cronkite News.